Let's see, sir. He has a little gun. Rob. Joe, we just kind of described your level, your comfort level right now, you know, a little more than a week out of kickoff. Just, you know, how are you feeling in general? Um, I feel great, you know, um, just trying to get everybody. I'm still being a server, you know. Um, I may be the leader on the team, but I'm still being a server every day. Um, I have to get the guys, um, you know, understood to the game plan, understand how I see it, um, you know. So um, I feel comfortable with the game plan, feel comfortable with the playbook, feel comfortable, uh, you know, playing right now in this offense. So I feel great. Beast in the back. No. Uh, Joe, the last time we talked a while ago, we talked about how your hips and your lower body with mechanical fixes that you made. How long did it take you to get comfortable with those mechanical changes? Uh, roughly, uh, I mean, it took some time. You work at it every day. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, something just don't happen overnight. So I feel like, you know, the soon the day that you forget about it is the day that it mess up. So I try to work on it every day. Yeah, and then how often do you see yourself slipping back to your old form and having to fix those issues? Um, not as much. You know, um, that's something that we preach every day, every time we watch film, so not as much. Matt? So, uh, on social media, everybody was sharing photos of the headphones you got for the team. How did that come about, and, and what so, kind of how did that process, and what made you want to do that for you guys? Uh, it's just a little NIL deal. Beast reached out. Uh, you know, I did my part of what I needed to do. Um, and then on the back end of that, you know, they said that they have some beats for the team. And, you know, that's something that I always like doing this, you know, helping these guys out, you know, any way possible. So, yeah, yeah, that was my idea. Um, I mean, everybody that around the country that did it has a card, but um, the message on that card, yeah, that was for me. Joe, I was going to ask you about all the questions you've fielded all off season long about backing up Pendon and so on and, and so forth. Just how much of a chip do you have on your shoulder right now going into the season to to kind of put those conversations behind you and and improve yourself? And just how excited are you to go play football and stop answering those questions? Uh, I mean, I don't answer them unless I be asked. But uh, to be honest, I'm just ready to play football. Um, I don't see it no different. Um, do I have a chip on my shoulder? That's just because I want to, you know, prove that to myself, you know, that I'm good at this game and, you know, I can play for a long time. So other than that, man, I don't I don't look at the outside noise. I don't – anything that's going on about Joe Milton outside of this football stadium or football facility is not my, it's not my concern. A lot of talk about Jalen Wright right now. Just how different of a running back is he and, and how has he evolved into to what he has been this fall camp? Yeah. Um, you know, I used to preach to Jay Wright last year, you know, about just being more mature. Um, you know, things going to happen, you know, last year or 2021, you know, he had fumbles. And then as the years progressed, he stopped, he stopped fumbling and, you know, he just kept balling. You know, he, he took into the consideration that, you know, Everybody believes in him, you know, don't have no self-doubt. You know, that that kills everything that you're willing to, you know, approach. So, you know, just being able to have him in the backfield is great. You know, he runs the ball hard. He understands what's going on. He understands the playbook. And he understands me and what the coaches want in his offense. Joe, you've been a leader uh, since you've been on campus here the last couple of years, um, whether you're playing, not playing, whatever. But was there a point in time maybe – in December last year, or over the offseason, that you took ownership, saying, "Hey, you know, this is my team." Um, I always had that that in the back of my head. Um, no matter what happened, uh, I just had to get over the situation that I had in 2021 uh, about just understanding everyone on the team and understanding my receivers and the understanding the coach's mindset. So, I honestly, truly, just you know, I felt like that since I got here. I always felt like that, even when I wasn't a starter. Um, that's just me as a person, you know, just being the oldest of seven. That's just something that you just kind of just take over of. So, so you, you guys haven't had Cooper at center for mo much of the preseason. Has that changed anything? How do you feel like cause the guys that are working to replace him? No, nah, those guys up front, the, the starting five right now are working very hard. Um, we wish to have a cool back. Yes, absolutely. But um, the starting five right now are working very hard. They're working on the same communication level, and they all playing sound football. So the preseason, you're happy with the priors you got to pay it, Wester. 
Absolutely. You know, I, I preach to those guys, you got to get better every day. Um, you want to treat these days that we have for those uh, install and, and mock day, mock game day weeks. You want to treat those as the game because as soon as the game day come, it's going to feel like practice. So, Joe, what was your offseason goal in terms of physically changing your body or, or anything along those lines? It looks like you've slimmed down some and have, maybe have a little extra burst of, of speed or, or whatnot. Yeah. Would you agree with that? And what was kind of your goal there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, last year I was weighing like 245, 250. Um, I felt okay, um, but I just wanted to, you know, my 10-yard splits, I wanted to be faster. So I knew that if I did that, I had to go back to like towards my high school um, size and my freshman year of college size. So um, I decided to do that, and I kind of cut back on certain meals. Joe, how, how do you go about explaining to to young guys or transfers that are coming in you know, how fast y'all are going to play and how quickly they have to do their job. I imagine they've watched tape, they've done their homework, or they wouldn't have come here. But how do you explain to them just how quickly they have to move and, and what they have to prioritize to make that happen? Yeah, um, I mean, it's it's hard to explain. It's easy to say, but it's harder to do, um, to be honest with you. It's just, it's a part of the process. Like, you come in and if you understand what's going on off the field, like in the classroom with the coaches and you understand that part, I feel like once you get to the field, everything just switches over and it'd be different because the speed is unlike no other. Like you have to be able to reset, not dwell on the last play, not think about the future play that's coming along. If you've seen the script and practice or just got to be able to, you know, just react and adapt to what's going on. Adam. Coach Halsley said when you stepped into the, in the leading role of this team, you didn't change like any of your body language or who you are. Is, was that important to you to be sort of authentic with your teammate? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like the Joe they got last year from being a second string, I feel like that's the Joe they're going to get as being a starter. I feel like I don't need to change at all. I feel like everything I've done or I did last year, you know, just I'm just here this year just to add on to it. You know, it's there's nothing much that is going to change, you know, just operate and do what the coaches ask. Thank you, Joe. Thank you all.